Say our body does not move in a straight vertical line, but rather along a curved path. It could be along the trajectory of a projectile, for example. Again, consider that the only force acting on the body is gravity. We'll assume that air resistance is negligible. To determine the work done by the gravitational force as the body travels from position A to position B, we divide the path into a lot of small displacements, delta R. One of these small displacements is shown on the screen now. The work done by gravity during this small displacement is equal to the scalar product of the force and the displacement, delta R. This in turn is equal to the magnitude of the force, which is just mg, times the magnitude of the displacement, delta R, times cos theta, where theta is the angle between the direction of F and the direction of delta R. But just looking at the diagram, cos theta times delta R is equal to delta Y. So therefore, the work done is equal to mg delta y. And this is the, s the same as though the body had been displaced straight down by delta y. So the work done in moving from A to B is just the sum of the work done over each small displacement and is equal to the force of gravity multiplied by the total vertical displacement. This, in turn, can be written as u1 minus u2, which is equal to minus delta u. So we conclude, therefore, that the work done by gravity depends only on the vertical displacement and is independent of the path taken.